Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. This program has been taped in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air five times a week, Monday through Friday, on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Files 35. As you can see, today we have some repeat participants. To my immediate right, we have Raphael Sands. Raphael, I'm going to have you remind our viewers a little more about what you do. You're an actor, right? I'm a young actor. Right now, I'm rehearsing for a play. I love your tattoos. Thank well, you, Let so. me not distract you. Go ahead. <laughs> it's titled The Michaels Are Out of Control. It's playing at the American Actors Theater on West 54th Street. Right. Um, January 5th, 6th and 7th. Good. And January 3rd, I'll be in on One Life to Live. And if you want to download um, my podcast, No Apologies, I co-host it. It's on iTunes and at the Taylor Network. Okay, Raphael Sands. You got your whole life into about 30 seconds. Perfect. Try to speed it up for you. <laughs> Thank you, Raphael. Yeah. That's okay. We are ready to we are ready to listen to you if you have more to say. Feel free. It's not we're not limited to 30 seconds. That was just a guideline. Is no. there more to you? What about your tattoos? You want um, to talk about it? Well, every tattoo tells a story of what I was going through at a specific time. I was just, you know, sometimes you're just going through a period where you're trying stuff out. Okay. So, uh, but you're happy. You're going to live with it for the rest of your oh, life, I'm, right? I'm very happy with it. That's that's forever. important. If you're happy with what you have, that's important. And they look great too. Thank you so much. Raphael, one more time, your podcast. How do people look you up? Um, it, first, you could go to the Taylor Network. That's where you see the podcast is titled No Apologies. No then Apologies. No Apologies. Okay. It's an entertainment podcast, okay. comic books and entertainment. And then you go to iTunes. It's totally free. You just type in No Apologies. It'll pop up and you download it. Fantastic. I'm, I'm not very tech savvy, but I'm going to try that. You explained it very Thank well. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the show, Raphael. Yeah. To my immediate left, we have Rob Harper. Rob is an up-and-coming author, and through personal experience, he has written an amazing book that's called That Job Just Isn't Into You. Yes. You want to talk about the book? Sure. The book, That Job Just Isn't Into You, it gives the reader an idea as to how to reinvent yourself when you're on a job that you don't like or when you've been let go from a job. How to uh, look at the job that you have and decide that, hey, this job isn't into me. I need to start over. I need to find a job that uh, fits me, a job that'll make me happy. Right. How about if you have a job that you love, but it's not going to pay you anything? Well, I mean, if you have a job that you love, but it's not paying you, I mean, it comes down to do you want the money or do you want happiness? Right. And I would choose being happy, Absolutely. Right? Anyone would. Every time, you absolutely. You happy? I would choose the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing about it is that you can choose the money and you're not happy and you live your life exactly. and you're miserable. Think about it this way. The money is intended to make you happy. So if mm -hmm. you can be happy doing what you're doing... I yeah, mean, you money need money for food on the table, right, but absolutely. if you've got that, yes. then you're okay. Absolutely. <laughs> and the book is available in January. In January. Okay, yes. so by the time we air this episode... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I better shake your hand before you get too famous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll come back and I'll still stretch with you, okay? That'll be wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yeah, that's why you won't even look at us. Josiane, I know you are a multifaceted character. You are into all the those, all the energy sports, taekwondo, martial arts. aikido, martial arts. Yes. You're into boxing now. I can see I Rob was, is going to start yes. moving away like from you. Yeah. <laughs> I really miss it. And, and sailing. Sailing as well. Sailing 20 years, yes. Okay, any, any other dimension to you yeah. that I have? I'm, I'm into bridge now, play bridge. But you I, play, I play bridge, bridge all well. my life. That, that's Do you gamble? No, no, no. For money? Bridge, bridge is not gambling. Oh, it's not? No, no, it's, it's, it's a brain game. Okay, you know, but you, there are no stakes there. No, no, it's for points. You play for points. You play for points. Yes. Okay. But not money. 
No, it's not for money. Okay. So it's not a gambling <laughs> game. No, no. I mean, it can be, but it's not. For okay. Sure. That's not a purpose. Right. right. No. I did know someone who would uh, barter the points for money. That's why I thought you would make oh, money. Oh no, no, no. That's, uh, that's Welcome no. back to the show, Thank Josie, you. and it's always a pleasure to have all of you back. Before I forget my manners, I'd like to thank our wonderful crew. We have a full house in the back as well. In our control room, we have Carol Talbot, Ashni Mufuko. I apologize. Yesterday, Ashni, I forgot to mention you were in the control room as well. But thank you so much for not holding that in your heart and your back to help us. I appreciate that. Patricia Gonzalez, Nelson Shepard, Lois Johnson, Nelson Santos, Atik Mirza and Daisy Blue. Under Rich's guidance and Drew Taylor as a facilitator, this episode has been made possible because of all of you, so thank you once again. At Jizian's request and again supported by the two gentlemen on either side, we are going to do some stretches that help stretch the back of the body, primarily the back of the legs, just to help ease any sciatic pain that some of us may experience from time to time, especially when you're in a job that involves sitting down for long periods of time, there's not enough blood circulating through the nerves in the back of the legs. So we're all going to stand up, and that's so our camera folks know that's how we start. We're gonna stand up and take you through some forward folds, any, anything that helps fold the body over or helps stretch the side of the legs. So let Josie and you and I can come forward this time, and Raphael and Rob can go back. Heels are together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Remember, when your elbows are raised, your mind stays alert. Well done, Deetra, stretch with us. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Has, pada hasta. Pada is feet, hasta is hands. When you come down all the way, now remember, it's okay for your hands not to reach your toes or your feet today. You can place your hands at your ankles. You can place them at the shin. Just try to avoid the knees. Whatever you do, try not to suspend yourself in midair. You want to make the connection. So touch some part of your body, wherever you are. You should feel a delicious stretch in the back of the legs. Remember, in the studios, here at m and our holding times are much longer, so we start s sweating much faster. Place your palms together. Inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Let's take you through a, an intense forward fold. It's called Ugra Asan. Ugra literally means fierce. We're all going to turn to face the front left of the mat. This posture has another name in North America. It's called Prasarita Padottanasana. Prasarita is widespread. Padottan is legs or feet, so you can tell that your legs are going to be wide apart. Asana is, of course, posture. So bring your legs out about a little wider than you usually would, about four feet apart in my case. The gentleman and Josian's pretty far off as well. That's good. So if you're very tall, you want to get your legs even further out, put your brakes on so you want to bring your toes in so you don't slip. It's very important, and while we're talking about slipping, I'd like to point out that Josiane, Rob, and Raphael have all got their socks on. Remember, it's okay if you want to keep your socks on for whatever reason, maybe you're very cold today, you feel you haven't washed your feet, you haven't done your pedicure, that's fine. <laughs> but just remember, if you, have, if you keep your socks on, you might slip, so you want to be extra careful. If you want, wear socks that have rubber dots under them or a rubber ridge. Actually, Josiane's got a rubber ridge under her sock. So put your brakes on. This is a part you want to be extremely careful with. Inhale, now let's turn to face the side of the mat. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Exhale, fold from the hip, keep your back nice and straight. We'll try not to hit each other. If we do, we are just going to apologize in advance. Now, this is a good time to use a block or a brick. But before you do use any support, you want to try and do it on your own. So you want to bring your palms, elbows close to each other. Keep exhaling and dip. If you feel you think you're a little tired today and you're not going to make the connection, 
your top of your head is not going to touch the floor, you can place the brick at the lowest orientation first. Always try before you go into the highest point. Keep exhaling and dip. Now if that's a little hard for you today as well, turn it to midpoint. And then if that's not going to cut it for you, keep it at its highest point and then make sure the top of your head, the crown of your head touches, makes contact with either the brick or the floor. I'm going to remove that. Now, very gently, let's wiggle our feet just a little bit closer till it's okay for you to take your palms off of the floor. Place your palms together. Inhale, let's come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Wiggle your feet a little closer. Let's turn to face the front of the camera. We're going to do as many side stretches and forward folds as we can so we give our sciatic nerves, the back of our legs and our hamstrings, an opportunity to stretch as much as you can. And if you're in pain, remember, when you're in pain, try and release the posture just a little bit. You shouldn't have to suffer. Palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. We'll take you through a posture called Ardha Chandra. Ardha is half, Chandra is moon. Literally, we're going to look like a little crescent moon swaying from side to side. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Now, as we exhale, we're going to sway to the right and then to the left. Exhale and dip to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale to the left. Hold that position for just a moment. When you, when you sway to either side, you should feel a wonderful stretch on this whole side of the body. In this case, the whole right side of the body should feel the stretch, which means the obliques as well as the sciatic nerves, the abductor muscles, everything. The whole right side should feel the stretch. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and bring your palms in front of your body. Now place your palm, have your palms facing down. Elbows are raised. This time bring your feet apart about six, six to eight inches. Now we, you know, here's where we might hit each other. So let's, let, uh, yeah, Josiane and I will come forward. Bring up, uh, keep your palms facing each other. Your fingers face each other. Elbows are raised. Your toes are in, so your brakes are on. What we're going to do is we're going to swing the right arm out to the side, and then inhale back in. Exhale, swing the left arm out, and then inhale back in. The first time, we're going to do that twice. The first time, keep your hips where they are. The second time, take your hips with you and notice the difference. So let's try that. <clears throat> Kati chakra, spinning wheel. Chakra is wheel, Kati is spinning or cut off. Exhale to the right. Follow your right hand with your eyes, wherever it takes you. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. This time, Take your hips with you. Make sure your toes are facing in. That helps you give a deeper turn. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and release. Two more forward folds in the standing position and then we'll transition into seated forward folds and seated twists that help stretch the sides of the body. <clears throat> Place your palms in front of your chest. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. Now very gently, cross over. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Now once you've made that connection, wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Keep your back nice and straight. Now you want to strengthen your low back muscles when you get into this posture because as you go down all the way, your low back is going to feel a wonderful release. Exhale, fold from the hip. Hold that right there. This is one of the few postures where it's okay to suspend your body in midair. <coughs> if you recall several episodes ago, we mentioned that yoga, one of the five principles of yoga is gravity. We use body gravity to take us deeper into positions. Now you should feel a wonderful stretch. Raphael, do you feel the stretch in the back of your legs? Yeah, I do. Keep exhaling through the belly. How about you, Rob? You oh, feeling yeah, it? Oh yeah, I feel it. <laughs> I know Josiane is. She's really deep into the posture. 
So you should feel the stretch. If you feel, if you don't feel that in the back of the legs, if you don't feel that stretch, you want to keep challenging yourself till you actually do feel just a little bit of happy pain. Very gently, lower your hands. So the posture we're just coming out of is Uttanasan or rag dog. Place both your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take your left leg back and then the right leg into mountain position. Mountain or parvat. Parvat literally translates to mountain in Sanskrit. This posture is also called Adho Mukha Shvanasana. In North America, it's called downward facing dog. Adho is downward, Mukha is face, or facing Shwana is dog. So hold that right there. If you feel, sometimes you may feel that your heels won't come down all the way. That's quite okay. Learn to forgive yourself, and if you want, you, this may be a good time, hold the position. This may be a good time to use a brick. Actually, nobody seems to need a brick at all. That's wonderful. If your heels do not come down all the way, it's okay to use something that will help you make contact, either with the floor or with a brick or a towel wrapped up. Hold it right there. Very gently, let's walk our feet towards our hands. Now, coming out of a posture when you're doing a sequence is a little different. Place your palms together, inhale, and let's come up. Exhale and release. First, some feedback. How do you feel? Stretched. <laughs> you feel stretched <laughs> in one word. Feels good? Feels good. Right. Yeah? Feels good. Forward folds are always wonderful because the blood rushes to the head. And when that happens, the brain is getting energized, activated. And you, even though you're doing typically forward folds, the seated ones, Great. you actually do them in the evenings because it helps you sleep. But standing forward folds actually make you more alert. So we are wide awake. None of us are going to be sleeping tonight. <laughs> but we'll close with nice, gentle posture, so we will sleep. <laughs> now, entering into the next posture, bring your right foot in front of you. Take your left foot, foot as far back as you can. Make sure both your feet face the front of the mat. Now, <clears throat> you're a little ahead of yourself, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Exhale, bend the right leg at the knee, and then bend the left leg as well. Very gently lower the left leg to the floor. <clears throat> this is already a posture called Ashwa Sanchala. But what we are trying to do is get a little bit of a side stretch. So we're going to take you through a posture called Parsva Kona, which is an extension of this posture. Right knee is up. Inhale, the left arm up. Parsva corner, intense twist. Parsva is intense, corner is twist or corner. Exhale, dip your left hand over your right knee. Place your right hand on top of your left, raise your right elbow, look up at the raised elbow, and hold. Make sure your toes are uncurled. Remember what we said yesterday. If your toes are curled in, there's more pressure on the knees. So as we grow older, we feel that pressure. When you're young, it's okay, your knees can take it. As you grow older, the knee, the synovial fluid in the knee dries up and you feel the pain. Inhale, let's come out of that. And let's switch legs as gracefully as we can. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to try. Come down on our knees, bring the left foot forward. Uncurl your toes in the right foot. This is already Ashwa Sanchala. Exhale and dip your hip. Take yourself as deep as you can, as close to the floor as you can. Left knee is up. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee. Place the left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Now, you, uh, do you want to take your right elbow over your left knee? That's it. And then place your left palm on top of your right. Beautiful. Raise your left elbow. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Hold your posture, not your breath. You should feel a wonderful stretch on <clears throat> you should feel uh, the, on your quads, on the front of your upper right thigh. Hold it. Inhale. Let's come out of that. Let's come into seated position. Keep your left leg extended. And let's sit down first. Keep your right leg folded in. Your left leg is extended. Janu Sirsha, head to knee. Janu is knee, Sirsha is head. Flex your left foot. So the extended foot needs to, be, needs to stay flexed because when you flex your feet, you're stretching the back of the legs. You point your toes, you stretch the front of the legs. All muscles are connected so you can feel that. Now you want to keep your right leg bent at the knee. Turn to face the extended leg. So your upper body turns to face the extended leg. You're already there. 
<clears throat> inhale your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together in any manner you've been trained. You could have both palms together, you could cross your fingers over, or you could have your index fingers out. Now I'm going to cross my fingers over, exhale, fold from the hip. Wrap your hands over your left foot. Now if your hands do not reach your foot today, that's okay. You can place your hands at your ankles, your shin, even your knees. It's okay as long as you feel that intense stretch in the back of your legs. Now if you can, hold on to your left foot. Pull your body forward. Give yourself a little bit of a massage on the soles of your feet. Raphael, we were talking about why we try to practice yoga when we can without socks on, right? This is a good time to help our viewers understand. The reason we try to practice yoga bare feet is because the soles of our feet and the palms of our hands have 72,000 nerves ending in them. So all these nerves lead to glands and organs. So when you actually massage or you exercise bare feet, you stretch bare feet, and you put pressure with your hands, you're actually massaging your glands and organs. Keep exhaling. Now, this posture is literally head to knee, Janu Sirsha. So we're going to attempt to bring our forehead to our knee. Sometimes it happens, and for some of us it may not. But the point is to try. Keep exhaling and dip. Inhale. <laughs> Inhale. Let's come up. And very gently, we're going to switch legs. Extend the right leg out in front of you. Fold the left leg at the knee. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of your upper right thigh. Now turn to face the extended leg. Flex your right foot. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. Exhale and fold from the hip. Keep your back nice and straight. Now, if you have been able to make that connection, you're able to hold on to either your toes or the soles of your feet. Clasp it nice and firm and then pull your body forward. Lead with the chest. Exhale and dip your forehead down. It's probably not going to happen for me for the, in the next 100 years, bring, trying to bring my forehead to my knee. But the point is, I feel the stretch in the back of my legs, so I'm happy. Inhale, let's come up, Janu Sirsha. Exhale and release. Keep your right leg where it is. Extend your left leg out in front of you. We're going to take you through a posture called Paschimottanasana. And let's do this. Let's not face. OK, we have that camera on. So we're going to turn to face the front right of the mat. <coughs> in Paschimottanasana, Paschimottan literally means bird beak. It's an intense forward fold. In this posture, you have both your feet flexed. Keep your back nice and straight. If it's a little hard for you to keep your back upright, you can sit on a, bra a block or a brick. Inhale the arms up all the way overhead, palms facing in. Exhale, fold from the hip. Now remember, to get deeper into it, hold on to either your big toe, the soles of your feet. If you can reach the soles of your feet, give yourself a little massage. I'm going to hold on to the toe, big toes. Remember, every time you exhale, little sips of air, it helps you come forward just a little more. Hold it. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release. Keep your legs where they are. We're going to go um, take you through a very simple twist. It's a twist as well as a wonderful stretch for the side of the legs. It's called Supta, Pariv Supta Namaskara. Keep my little cheat sheet next to me. Keep both feet flexed and then take both your hands to the left, to the left side, beside your left hip. Now, if you want to go deeper into the twist, take your left hand all the way behind you and that's it, very nice. And then very gently, we're gonna try and dip our forehead to the floor. It's not gonna reach all the way down for all of us. I know it won't for me, so I'm gonna give you some room here. Exhale and dip. Try to keep your hips down, do not take your feet with you. Keep your feet flexed. Now, if you want to get a little deeper into the stretch, you could keep your hands a little further away from you. 
Inhale, let's come up. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Place both your hands beside your right hip. Exhale and dip. You want to make sure that your hips stay down. Sometimes your left hip may come off the ground. Try and correct it. Keep your feet flexed. Inhale. Let's come out of that. And we're going to go directly two minutes. We have about two minutes left. We're going to take you through. Let's then skip the two prone positions. Let's come on our back. We're going to come in supine position with our heads to the camera. Before we do that, I'd like to, oh, go ahead. The rest of you, go ahead. I'd like to thank our amazing crew today. Thank you so much for helping us out. Nelson Santos, Atik Mirza, Daisy Blue, Nelson Shepard, Lois Johnson, Ashni Mufuko, Carol Tolbert, and Patricia Gonzalez. I hope I haven't left anyone out this time. Now, let's all come. You guys have already got into that posture. How did you know we were? <laughs> probably didn't do that. I'm going to do a slight variation. Let's come on our backs. I'm going to take my fancy plastic clip. I must have too. <laughs> Actually, that does feel good, doesn't it? What extend your legs do? out. We're going to do the uh, Viprita Karani, legs up the air. Oh, okay. So extend your legs out, flex your feet, inhale, engage your lower abdominal muscles, not your quads, and lift your legs off of the floor. Keep your hips on the floor. Viparita Karani, unique inversion. Viparita is unique or unusual. This is, it's unusual for human beings to have their legs up. We usually stand up with our head up, right? Mm -hmm. So Viparita Karani. Karani is inversion. You can use your hands to push it in if you want. That's a, no, we're not taking the butt off the ground yet. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah. But that's the next step. Okay, engage your lower abdominal muscles and so Raphael feels tortured. We're gonna inhale, lift the buttocks up. Take your legs all the way overhead. Hala, son, hala is plow. On behalf, <laughs> on behalf of Josie and Herd, Rob Harper and Raphael Sands, this is Banu Suresh signing off and you are watching Yoga Express. Hold it very gently. Let's lower our legs. We've got a wonderful stretch for the back of the legs. Let's congratulate ourselves, give ourselves a wonderful hug for a job well done. And then you can just give yourself a beautiful, gentle sacral massage. Mm -hmm. So just do a semicircle at the base of the spine. That's where all the nerves shoot out to different parts of the body. So you can do a little bit of a semicircle right there. Okay. Let's meet our viewers. Are we still on air? Can we keep stretching? 